everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing Erica's makeup. Hi! Have I known you most of my life? Yeah, since we met we're right after we both moved to North Carolina. No, but how old were we? We were, I had just turned 11. <laughs> so I guess we were the same. I mean, we both <laughs> were 11 at that time, I guess. Yeah, because six, you're like, we were at end of fifth grade, yeah. I feel like I look like a dead ghost with the wake up on. No, you look beautiful. I'm gonna fix that. I honestly didn't even realize you had started filming. <laughs> so sorry about being awkward. <laughs> no. We're gonna go in with the Smashbox Photo <laughs> Primerizer as our base today. We both have. I forget, tell me you know what kind of thing you have. Mm, the best kind. Kind of dry, but then sometimes it gets oily. I don't know. I feel like it's a little bit mixed with both. I think definitely mostly dry. All right. We basically have the same skin and the same skin tone and hair color and eye color and same face overall, which is why all your products are going to work great on me. <laughs> oh, I should have given you a headband. That was rude of me. No, it's okay. It's oh, fine. Okay. Cool. Okay. I'm going to go with the Milk Makeup Sunshine Tint in the shade Fair. I'm just going to... Wow, that was a lot. Let's just move that around. And this product is really good if you don't have super oily skin and you want a little bit of SPF in your life. You know, good skincare is key. And I'm just gonna buff this out with a big fat powder brush. And this one doesn't give you a ton of coverage, but I think it evens out the skin tone pretty, pretty nicely. I really enjoy it. Wow, look how glossy you look in there. Oh, so glossy fluffy. I just need you to come to my house every morning and just do my makeup for me. Wouldn't that be a blessing? That would just be so nice. I'm gonna want someone, I want someone to do my hair. Hmm, unfortunately like, I can't help you there. I, I want someone to, I want extensions and I want someone to <laughs> Your hair's me. already so long. Yeah, but I just want. Just long. The, uh, my friend that I was working with at the clinic now, her hair is literally like past her butt. It was so long. That would be too much for me. Just wearing a break. Alright, look up. I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer in the shade. Don't have a clue what shade this is. I forget they can't see me, so it doesn't matter what I do. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna pat this in. Pat out these creases, and every time you wanna set the concealer under your eyes. Please pat out your crease. Otherwise, that's something new that I just learned. I had no idea. Maybe you should. I didn't. I didn't have to look this wrinkly. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have to be this old. <laughs> okay. Look up. Because any like wrinkle or line that you set with powder will be there all day, all day long. So pat it out with your finger because the heat of your finger will work to blend in the concealer a little bit better before you apply the powder. So I just took the Wet Beauty Blender and dipped it into, got some of the Glossier Water and the Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder. Both beautiful. The Hourglass just tends to leave a little yellow under my eyes, so I figured it would do the same for her. Um, what next? Let's... Do your eyeballs. I'm gonna use the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. I'm gonna put that all over eyelids. I could also use concealer, but I don't feel like it. And while that sets a little bit, I'm going to take the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 6 and fill in her brows. I'm going to brush them out so I can see what exactly we need to do. And I'm just going to follow the natural shape of her brows. I like literally just discovered that you can put makeup on your eyebrows like a month ago. <laughs> yeah, I don't know your face. Sorry. <laughs> At the ripe old age of 26. I'm just going to go back in with the spoolie to soften up all of these lines that I have put in so she doesn't look like a freak. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go in with the Benefit 24-hour brow setter. One day you'll see this. 
We're just going to use it to set the brows and I'm going to brush them up a little bit to make them look just a tad bit fuller. About some full brows. There we go. You're perfect. Ooh, I like it so far. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to be using a combination of palettes today. I'm going to use the Zodiac and the Dream Street palette on her today. All right, I'm paying no attention to the brushes that I'm about to use on her face because I haven't washed my other brushes. <laughs> I'm just going to set the primer with the shade Libra, which clearly I am almost out of. What's your zodiac sign? Uh, Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. In this palette, I'm a very deep, beautiful purple color mm -hmm. that I never wear. <laughs> I'm Aries. I don't like follow horoscopes, but... I don't either. Yeah. Although my boyfriend is a Capricorn and one friend who's super into oops, into um, horoscopes, she said that like we never get along unless there is a big age difference. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> Which color are you in this? Aries. Oh, you're a bright spicy orange. Ooh, spicy. Um, okay. okay. So now I'm going to go into the shade the Taurus right here. I'm going to use that to define her crease. And just remember when you're doing your eyeshadow, concentrate most of the product at the corner of the eye and then drag it into the crease. And you can angle up from where your lower lid looks like it wants to meet the end of your eyebrow. So that's how you can find your angle. And with deeper set eyes, you don't want to put all of your color just in the crease because it will disappear when you open your eyeballs and that is not desirable. So just go a little bit onto your brow bone so that you can still see what the heck is going on. I honestly feel like though your tie-dye jeans could be back in style now. They, they really could. I Especially because the 80s like, come back. Right, with like the dad the shoes. I think so. With like and the, the mom jeans. Right, and like the windbreakers and everything. That's so much I know about fashion. Right. Yeah, that's what that kid. Yeah, I used to have, we were just talking about how we had very interesting style back in like middle school. I was all about Did some. You? You're, you're like helping them out. I'm not doing anything for them. <laughs> I'm just trying to, you know, keep it entertaining. Keep it real. Yeah, just right. Keep it real. Talking about how ridiculous our fashion sense was back in the middle school days. Shout out to us. We are all about some graphic tees with some fancy sayings. I, My favorite was I can't even buy me things. Buy me things. <laughs> <laughs> like I would have never things. asked that of someone, but I just was like, buy me things. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go in with the shade Mooney, this, <laughs> that one. In the Dream Street palette, I'm just going to use that to define the outer corner of her eye. And this, I'm just going to keep really in the outer V. I'm not really going to drag this too much in the crease. Only when I have barely any product on my brush. And now we're going to go into the Cancer shade. I'm just going to grab that on my finger and I'm just going to apply that over the first third of the lid. And these ColourPop shadows are super inexpensive, but they're super amazing and creamy and beautiful and I love them. Now I'm just going to use the brush I used for the Taurus shade and just blend the edges of that. Right back in. Now I put shadow on her lower lash line, or right under her lower lash line. And I'm just gonna do the same order that I did for the lid. I'm just gonna take the Libra shade and drag that all over her bottom lash line. I'm not being very careful about where I'm putting that at all. I'm gonna take the Taurus shade and just come about almost halfway with that. Actually, I am coming halfway. I'm just making sure to connect that to the 
the makeup on her eyelid. And now I'm gonna take the Elfish shade and just do the very outer edge and run that back up on her upper lash line. And now I'm going to take the Moony shade, which is this lovely <laughs> little shade right here. Clearly I use a lot of that. I'm just going to highlight her brow bone right under her eyebrow. Okay, now we're going to use the Milk Makeup Cream Bronzer in the shade Bait. I'm just going to take that on a brush and follow and bronze up the face. I don't know, <laughs> follow, I don't know what the heck I'm following. Follow my cheekbones. Sort of. I'm yeah, right now you're saying cheekbones. <laughs> this side's harder to do because it's like in the shadow. So yeah, we'll see. Here. There we go. Now I can see what the heck I'm doing. I'm just gonna get down on your chin and drag this onto your neck. No demarcation lines. An important for you. step there, the blending. <laughs> just forget about it. Yeah, you want that sharp line. <laughs> and just make sure you put drag this back into your hairline so it looks more natural and not like you just painted your face. There you go. That's essentially what we're doing, painting your face. Getting tanner. Looks better. I like this product just because it makes such a nice base, and if you want to add more, then you can go in with like a powder. Mm -hmm. But I really enjoy the way this product looks on the face. Okay, now we're going to go in with the Milk Makeup Cream Blush in the shade, in the shade Work. Right? Work. 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 It's their little mini version so that's really nice if you just want to try it out so go ahead and smile for me and i'm just going to dot this onto your face because this blush it doesn't look like anything you put it on and then you blend it out and you're like oh my god no. <laughs> and i'm just going to tap that in with a brush i'm not trying to overdo it with her blush today and i'm going to take the milk makeup cream blush or cream highlighter jk I don't know what shade it is, I'm not going to pretend to know. I'm just going to run that over the tops of her cheeks and down her nose. And then I'm just going to pat that in with my fingers. Okay, so to deepen up this bronzer, we're going to go in with the Too Faced Sweet Tea Bronzer. It's really nice. Shimmery. One side's a little bit lighter, one side's a little more deep. I just mix the two together. And you can also pinch your brush like this to give yourself a more defined line. I saw it's a cool trick. Kendall Jenner do this <laughs> in a Vogue Get Ready With Me. I thought it was a pretty good idea. I'm mostly just gonna focus that on her cheeks and then down her neck. Wow. Ooh, look at that glow. So I'm so sun-kissed and tropical right now. All right. My God. It's like you just went to the beach. I know. I'm just going to add a little more color to her cheeks mm. with this Milani pressed powder brush and blush. Blush. Okay. Pressed flower. powder blush in the shade Coral Cove. Mm. You're beautiful. You're perfect. Uh, I feel like Princess Jasmine with my blue hip band and like my bold eye. So the last thing we're gonna do is mascara, and we're gonna use the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. And we're gonna watch as I put this all over her eyeball and not on her eyelashes. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm just a doctor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a doctor, I got this. I can save my own eyes <laughs> if that happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't look up. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Just look straight, like look normal. Okay. Because otherwise, you will have mascara all over and if you ever get mascara on your eyelid just wait till it dries and take a little brush or something and flake it off do not touch it 
while it's wet because you will be sad. That's a good tip because I feel like every part of my morning routine is to fuck up my eyeliner. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> to mess up my eyeliner. <laughs> mess up my like mascara or eyeliner and then I just like smear it with my finger and I just like mess it all up and it just ruins starts off oh, my day. Look how nice that is. That was one oh. coat. Look how Look, you went from looking like a freaking alien. I was to looking beautiful. like a dead skeleton ghost. No, I just went without the without the mascara. I feel oh, like everybody no. looks ridiculous until you put mascara on and then you're like, wow, I'm beautiful. Oh, yeah, I was talking about pre makeup and oh, But yeah. They're just really. No, you were beautiful before beautiful. makeup. Then you let oh. me do your makeup and it was like, wow, Clary, get away from her. So what am I going to do a lip color? Oh, eh. almost forgot about that. Erica, thank God you're so. This YouTube thing. Now so I'm going to use the Kylie lip kit, the velvet matte in the shade, pretty sure it's just Kylie. Nope, bear. Just kidding. This is the final look. Woo -hoo. It's I'm awesome. a big fan. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's fabulous. And it's something that, like, you know, yeah, sorry, I wouldn't have thought to do I'm on my own. The shot now. There you go. I have to be, like, super close to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, you like, there you go. Okay. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Um, what, what do you say when you're done? Uh, Subscribe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, now, we got, now we just got to stop. Okay. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> It's gonna be a long, awkward stretch of me just like looking at myself. No, I just cut this crap out. Yeah, that's good. Or maybe I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Save it for future enjoyment. No, legit. Yeah, the blooper reel. Exactly.